What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. I have a knife review for you. We're going to be looking at the Cavill Amuse. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do some size comparisons and I will share my thoughts and impressions, but I thought really quickly we would go ahead and do a little mail call. Let me go ahead and move that out of the way. Today's unboxing knife is what I have in my pocket, which is actually going to be the EMP EDC Relative. This is a knife that I actually did recently check out through the Pass Around group, and it made quite the impression on me, so I did want to go ahead and check it out. If you're interested, this is one of the TK knives. There, if you're on your computer, you can use the scanner. If not, you can just go to the website um and 20 percent off your next order that's pretty cool let's go ahead and see what i picked up that made such the impression on me and then we'll jump into the amuse so this one here if i recall correctly is the tactical i can't remember so i'll throw the name up on the screen yep about the same amount of blade play but this interested me because i thought this would be something that would be really good for a fifth pocket carry and something that i could throw in the pouch 154 cm blade steel great utility blade shape this is going to be really good for opening packages and such but just a really quick mail call i already have the review of these out for that so i'm not going to waste too much time but i did want to at least share what i had picked up so let's get back to the knife that we're here to talk about we're here to talk about the amuse and we're going to start off with some size comparisons which is going to be a little bit interesting because you got a unique blade shape here so i'm trying to center it the best that i can to where i can still get these on here First, we're going to bring out a budget knife. This is going to be the CJRB Echo Ray Laconico design. And as you can see, the Amuse is a little bit bigger. And then we're going to go ahead and bring out the Civivi Praxis. I am trying to line these up at the pivot. And you can see the Amuse is a little bit longer and it's going to have a little bit more carry width on it. So let me move the Echo out of the way. We'll go ahead and bring out the Benchmade Bug Out and we'll take the Praxis off the table and we will bring over the Mordax from Protec. So as you can see again, this is definitely more of a full-size knife, definitely a bigger knife overall. All right, so let me go ahead and move the bug out out of the way and we'll go ahead and bring in the Demco AD 20.5. We will move the Mordax out the way and bring out the Spyderco Shaman, which will be the last big knife comparison that we'll do for the size reference. I think we pretty well established, regardless which of those knives you're familiar with, which size range this falls into. And this, to me, is definitely going to be in the larger category. Let's do some quick profile comparisons, too. I like to do that because I would like to share if it's thick or thin, how it's going to feel in hand, how it's going to carry in pocket. So you can see against the Shaman, the contour makes it a little bit hard. I would say it's a little bit thicker. And then we'll just do the Mordax. Yeah, a little bit thicker. So let's go ahead and jump into my thoughts and impressions. We're going to start with the Ergos. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> this looks like something out of the movie Tremors 2. Honestly, it really looks like those little things that come out of the ground that kind of stand up and come at you. But ergonomically, it is surprisingly comfortable. It almost puts you in a position, and I'm not going to get into the blade just yet, but it almost puts you in a position where I think this would be a really good kitchen knife. Like, I feel like you get enough position to where with the knuckles, you're able to get down to the blade shape and the knuckles are going to be up high enough to where you can get away with that. And I really like that. It's not too terribly thick. It's nice and hollowed out. So this is actually pretty lightweight for the size. It's actually very lightweight for the size. I don't feel any sharpness within hand. I can tell the pocket clip is there a little bit. A little bit of poking happening on the tip of the pocket clip, but it's really not that bad at all. Super, super comfortable. Way more so than I thought it would be. You have a beautifully done stonewashed blade in M390. 
It does have a flat grind that comes almost, I would say three quarters of the way up and then out towards the tip, it goes all the way up. It thins out nicely out towards the tip. So if you wanted to grab this and you wanted to do some detail cutting, some draw cutting, um, if you wanted to put your finger into this position, if you're cutting something small on the table, this again, I get kitchen vibes with this one a lot. It would work really well. Good lockup, sitting at about 30% lockup there. Good access to the lock bar, really easy to get to. And with the, I wouldn't call it a finger toil, but with the way the plunge grind and everything falls back here before you get to the blade's edge, it's really not hitting you with the tip of the blade. And it has very smooth action, very, very smooth. It is solid side to side, up and down, no play. So really good pivot action. It does have bearings in the pivot. So if you are using it for food prep and you're washing this off, you may want to take that into consideration because it could dry out in there. So you may want to lube and oil it if you do a lot of kitchen cutting, but if you're just using out on the tip of the blade, you know, you can easily just take the sponge and just clean off your cutting surface without getting too close to that. And then just, you know, throw the fingers over top of it and rinse it off. Should be relatively easy to keep the finger behind the edge to clean it with no issues whatsoever. The action on here, it has a very nice detent, but I will say the opening hole on it is a little bit big for me. I, I can get the whole finger in there and then you kind of like end up in this weird spot where it kind of catches the tip of the, the finger when it comes out. So what I end up kind of doing is just putting my fingernail. It's kind of like a little bit of a stop point so that the meat of the finger can hang over and I just kind of deploy it up towards the top of the hole. It doesn't need to be that big, but I guess if you have way bigger fingers than even I, it really would accommodate them if you're wearing gloves. I think it could be good there as well because you, you know, you have so much space. Now I do have to put my finger on the pocket clip um, just now when I was trying to deploy it, I had slipped over to the lock bar. And when you do that, it is not coming open. Even if you try to hold lightly, any extra pressure, but again, the detent is tuned really well when you're using it without putting your hand on there. Um, left-handed, it works good for the thumb deployment. The reverse flick, I wonder. Yeah, if you put your thumb up here, which is a little awkward, um, it, it seems to work just fine. I have a little bit of Sharpie there on my thumb. Oh no, that's my wound. It looked like I had hit myself with the Sharpie, but that's from where the Spartan Harsey cut me and I'm still healing. I was like, it looks like I marked myself under the camera. Outside of that, I mean, really a unique knife. And I think it's going to be someone that likes something that is very unique that will be interested in something like this. It is, it's large, but it's lightweight. The finishes on here are really well done though. I like the black acid etch look where it looks like they came back over it and kind of like pelted it in a wash for a little bit and then came back and did the anodizing because it looks like they were going for this golder color and you can see it on all the hardware. But I think with that black wash, which is very similar to what you see from Wii, that's what it looks like is going on here. And they did a pretty good job with it. So very interesting knife, very unique design. Um, I did a little bit of testing on the edge and it seemed like it had a pretty decent factory edge. I didn't do a whole lot of heavy cutting with it. I really actually just took it across a little bit of cardboard. I didn't even test um, the edge on any paper or anything like that because this is a knife that is getting passed around. Being that it's not my knife, this is just kind of an overview where I'm sharing some of my thoughts. So if you like something different, if you find that you're kind of drawn to like the Yojimbo, Yojimbo 2, um, if you like things along that line, I really can't really off the top of my head think of anything else that kind of comes in line with that. This could be something that is very interesting to you. And if you do part of your EDC is you're cutting more food and stuff like that, this could be something that you can carry with you and also accomplish that. I think most people that do food prep probably have dedicated food knives, but I'm thinking like camping or if you're going fishing for the weekend, um, this could be something that comes in handy that you can do some food prep with and do some EDC tasks with as well. 
But that's it for me. I just wanted to kind of check it out, do a little bit of an overview. This one's a little bit shorter, but I appreciate getting to check out different things. It's really fun to see. And I mean, it doesn't look like it, but it is surprisingly comfortable in hand. Like the way the thumb fit, fits and everything on there just really, really surprised me. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's a little bit shorter. So shout out to everyone out there that watched leave left a like and a comment i appreciate you let me know what you thought about this one um interested or no leave it in the comment down below i hope all of you have a fantastic week until next time peace